Google AdWords tips and tricks. In this video session, we're going to take a look at few different methods you can use to create better campaigns and manage them accordingly. We are looking at our campaigns level. We could have easily went into ad groups or ads and start automating rules. I can say, if I want, for this ad, automate pause ads when certain, um, as an example, click-through rate drops or greater than, as in less than 10%, if the click-through rate is less than 10%. Frequency, you can name it. Email results, only when this happens, and you can read through it if you want, right? But at the end of the day, you can preview the results and quickly set up different rules and you know, save time managing your account. At the same time, if you really dive in there and take advantage of these automated rules, then your ads will actually run better as well. Okay, so that's why you have all these Surely, you're not going to be able to straight away utilize all of them, but just realize that they are there for you to take advantage of. As I've said, we can go to the ad groups if we want and say, okay, with this ad group, let's automate a rule. You can create rules for keywords, change bids accordingly. If they're performing or if not, you can lower the costs and then dive in and analyze, then optimize, as in make changes, so later on you can increase your bids, and so on. Okay, so automated rules are all about that. Then let's go back to the campaign level, if we want. So anytime you're interacting with the user interface, when you go into certain tabs, or let's go into this campaign name, Let's press on that ad group because we know how the account is structured, right? So now I can say, okay, let me automate a rule for this if I want. So we know the automated rules, but what if, okay, that was a broad match, question, click through rate, go okay, for this one. And why do I have broad match there? Let me modify that by adding those plus signs saying okay you know what show my ads when these keywords are in there I have a video tutorial that explains all about match types okay, because I'm making these tutorials I end up putting things in there and then when I'm rendering the video I end up forgetting it which is terrible on my part all right What's going on here? Let me put a plus sign there as well. Because with broad, for these tutorials, it's not smart for me to select broad. But nonetheless, we know the importance of match types, right? Let's say, okay, let me grab that as a sample only. Let me create a label. Let's go we can manage labels, let's press on manage labels, then we're going to look at the labels that we have. For that custom grouping and keywords, we don't have any labels, right? So at our account level, we have access to our labels. Labels you can create, which then will allow you to understand what is going on with certain parts of your AdWords account. You can create a new label you can search on them and find things let's create a label as a sample only broad match type as an example let's create that label now okay then we need to see label let's go to columns let's go to attributes and labels Okay, labels are shown here. It will allow you to remember um, 
certain information you attach to your labels. I'd like to think of labels as not sticky notes whereby you can actually filter on them later on, okay? So let's go back to all campaigns. Let's look at, we've looked at segments. Okay, segments, straightforward process. You segment your data in your campaigns. Okay, let's go to filters. Filters obviously is important. You can create filters. You can filter by label. Let's create a filter so that I show you. You can say, okay, you know what? When call to score, let's select call to score equals or greater than equals or less than equals three. You can add another level of interaction here as a metric here. Right, click through rate below certain amount. Call to score less than three. Click through rate is as an example let's put 90 percent great than 90 percent apply this filter so now you can by utilizing filters see many different information that is important for your adwords campaigns okay. while here let me show you okay as your account grows you will have more insights as you advertise you can, as I've said, always, when you're on certain tabs and when certain um, menu links are shown to you, experiment with them. As you can see, you can change bid strategy, right? You can change the strategy of your bid. There is many things you can do with AdWords bidding systems, right? You can, as you can see, you can use campaign bid strategy, or you can go flexible bid strategy. Okay, let's go to the campaign level so that I can show you. Let's grab this one as an example. Then you can, as you as you advertise more, 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 more. Then you can go to details. You can look at the selected auction insights, or you can say, you know what? especially if you're a small business owner, you're running campaigns for your business only, then you can say, okay, show me insights for everything that I have just selected. You can do that as well. Let's press on that to see what we end up seeing here. Here you will see yourself in that auction system. Okay, impression share is impression share. You can read more about all these different options through hovering over the question mark tooltip. So I'm not going to cover all, but just to tell you, this is the first one is you. Impression share is in that auction system of AdWords, what was your impression share compared to all what you selected in the previous screen, right? So I am looking at everything that I am advertising. I can scroll down, but as you can see for somewhere here, Google is also advertising for certain keywords. And I can see my competitors here. Impression share that they're having is 42% and their average position is higher than mine. So now, this overlapping um, rate is what like my impression show, and so did their impression as well. But you know, if that's the case, looking at this, I can say, you know what, they, on average, their position is, you know, like better than mine. So now I can say, okay, looking at this, I can, if I want, further analyze what they're doing on their website or even analyze Google result set as well. So as you can see, auction insights can really be useful for you for your own account. But as you can see, outranking share, 
is how often you know your ad ad rank dares. Make sense? So in this example, I ad rank this mob here this many percentage, right? But this auction insights will allow you to perhaps see what others are doing on that auction system that you are also advertising in. And because we understand this ad rank, we can analyze what landing pages they're advertising, what offers they're providing, and then can we match them or can we do something better, right? So this is what the, the platform of AdWords allows you. You can look at keyword planner tool, display planner tool, but only when you start advertising and participating in that auction system, then you can kind of see who is competing with you, right? So auction insights allow you that insight. Analyze it for your own AdWords campaigns. So let's go back to campaigns. At the end of the day, right now, you actually have enough knowledge to target the keywords, advertise them, be comfortable with your bidding strategy. In a sense, you know the importance of cold score now. And then remember that you will need to be consistent with your AdWords account and then improve it slowly, slowly over time. And at the end of the day, that's the best way to make sure that in very short time, you have your campaigns, ad groups, keywords, you know, optimize over time so that you find that perfect balance with your costs, with your profits, through pay-per-click advertising using Google AdWords. Because it will allow you to showcase your products and services to almost anyone globally. And that's the power of AdWords that you can now comfortably get in there and create best of the best AdWords campaigns. And I'm wishing you great success on the internet. And I'll talk with you in the next video session.